an interesting question that we received. Is it too late for people like me? Guys like you have been preparing mentally and spiritually for decades while I've been cruising through life as if I had the rest of eternity to spare. Is it too late for people like me? The answer is an unequivocal no. <laughs> It's definitely not, not too late. Now, uh, I think I can say this because my dear mother-in-law, who I, I loved very much, no longer is with us. And she was very atheistic. And she was not very fond of the idea that we had embraced biblical truth. And so she would always find something to be at odds with when it comes to the scriptures. And at one stage I had a conversation with her and she said, you know, this Bible, it's very unfair. And the parable that Jesus tells is also incredibly unfair because there's this parable where workers are hired for a day's wages. And some start early, and then later in the day he finds more workers, and he says, come and work yeah. in my vineyard. And then later somebody else comes, and at the eleventh hour, there's someone that also is found, and he says, come and work in the vineyard. And then when the day is over, he pays them their wages, and they all get exactly the same wage. She says, that's ridiculous. That is so unfair, and that is why I don't like this Bible, because it has these ridiculous stories in them. So I said to her, yes, but what if you misread it? What if the wage is not money, mm -hmm. but the, the reward is eternal life? Would you like half eternal life? A quarter eternal Definitely life? Not. A fraction of eternal life? Mm. What is eternal life? It's either all or nothing, That's right? It, yeah. So, did those that worked longer in the vineyard complain? Yes. They complained and said, yeah, hey, hold on, hold on, on, hold on here. <laughs> We've been sweating ourselves into a coma here, and these guys come and breeze in in the last minute, and here they are. <laughs> and he said, what, well, didn't I negotiate with you for a day's wages and you said that's fine now you're getting a day's wages why are you complaining mm. what's wrong with you mm. they sound like a trade union right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they always want to slice up the cake uh, i once drew a, a, a cake on the board because i refused to join trade unions and i was pressurized at my work to be part of the trade unions I'm getting off topic, but Man. that's what WhatsApp's all about, that's right? <laughs> and they were nagging me and said, how can you be the head of the zoology department and not be part of the trade union? You must be part of the trade union. So I went to the blackboard and I drew a circle and I said, that's the cake. That's the entire economy of the country. And I drew the slices of cake. And then I wrote the names of the trade unions into the various slices. And I said, okay, so here's uh, the teachers' union. And it feels its slice is too small. Mm. So it has a big lobby, and it starts climbing on the barricades, and eventually its slice is increased. What does that mean to some of the the lesser slices? What happens to yeah, them then? Become smaller. They have to become smaller because mm. there's only one total economy. And my question is, is that love your neighbor as yourself? Yeah. And if your answer is no, well, then that's so. So the slice is what it is, right? So what happens to people like me? The Lord tells you, come work in my vineyard. Go and work in his vineyard. Mm. Because salvation is by faith through grace. And it's not earned. Yeah. So if it's not earned, it's a gift. It's a gift. And the gift is determined by the giver, 
not by the receiver. Correct. If I want to give you a gift, you don't come to me and say, hey, this is too small for me. I want something bigger. I say, well, then get yourself into a knot because you're not getting anything then, right? Mm -hmm. So the gift is determined by the giver. So my dear friends, it's never too late. It wasn't too late for the thief on the cross, right? Amen. So we've been preparing mentally and spiritually for decades. Yes, and some people who've been preparing mentally for decades could be on the garden path, right? Yeah. So let's always remember that salvation is by faith through grace. Thank you. Amen.